Guys, it's not what it seems like, but yes, I am video recording and vlogging while I'm on the road. It's traffic time, so I said, why not? I promise I'm being safe, I'm looking forward. You guys think I'm looking this way, that's why I have my sunglasses, but I'm really paying attention to the road, okay? I promise. I, I don't know about y'all, and comment below if you are, if you're, if you're more of a um, thinker, if you're just by yourself in your own space, like in your own room, or if you're more of a thinker, if you're like driving. So for me, like I can't sit still, like I'm, my mind is just like going, 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 but then when I'm like, and then I like have to be doing stuff, right? I can't sit still, but when I'm driving, that's when I can really just process things, be deep in my thoughts. Like uh, half the time, I don't even uh, turn on the radio because I'm just like thinking about uh, what I want in my life, what I want in YouTube, what I want in DPT, thinking about goals and just kind of thinking about what are some things I could improve on, you know? Anyway, Today. Today marks about halfway through the uh, internship or the clinical rotation at my school or through my program. And remember, this is my last internship of the entire program. So I'm almost done, right? I have about like five weeks left. So I'm like getting there. I'm getting like, oh, I want to be done. I want to be done. I want to be done. And it sucks because I'm not getting a dime, a penny for all the work that I'm doing, which sucks, but we all have to go through it anyway, right? Today though was really cool because I had a little shift in how I approached uh, inpatient um, before as you guys know and like I'm not really all for it I'm frustrated with it I'm just kind of like what this is kind of dumb <sighs> but then after after going through several weeks of inpatient I'm actually starting to realize like I ah, this it's not a bad place to be like I see a lot of I see a lot of uh, satisfaction that I get for helping these uh, patients that are you know so weak that like can't even like move or it's so fatiguing for them to get up uh, and sit on the bed like it's crazy but then like yeah some might think yeah what what kind of uh, actual skill does physical therapy involve um, well, today I'm gonna answer that question because today I had my very own stroke patient and it was actually pretty cool because I got to, I haven't been really using my neuro um, skills at all. And so I'm like, uh, stroke patient, okay, here I go. So I go in and it, this is kind of nice too because finally my CIs have been giving me a little bit more autonomy. So they're not in the room like freaking watching my every move, but now they're either like down the hall or um, just right outside the room, giving me a little bit of more space to be myself, you know? So before like, okay, quick story. So before, um, my CIs would be in the room and I'd be so, I'd be such a square. I'm like, so my name is Justin. I'm a student, a physical therapist. Can I help you today? Okay, what is, how many floors do you live in? And I'm just like so rigid. And then finally, like after they left, I feel like I had just like <sighs> space to breathe. So like now I'm just over there like, Hey, hello, knock knock, physical therapy, what's going on? Hey, what is going on, everyone? I'm Justin, I'm a doctor at a physical therapy student. Can I help you out today? My name is Justin Lee, fitness coach and third year physical therapy student. Okay, all right, so today I'm here to evaluate your safety, to see if you're safe to go home. I wanna make sure I make the right recommendations for you. I care for you. Today, what we're gonna do is X, Y, Z, da, 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 and I just feel so much more confident and fluid uh, but yeah, that, that's just a little side note um, of how my body and how I am starting to develop as a clinician um, because before I was just so like <clears throat> and now I feel like I'm a little bit more of my silly self, you know? So since I have gotten more of my autonomy, let me tell you about my stroke patient, okay? So I go in, do my little blurb, like I'm here to evaluate your safety and things like that. I go, okay, so I see that uh, you had a stroke. Um, so she had a right-sided stroke, meaning her left side is affected. That's how usually strokes are that way, it's crossed. So right brain, left-sided, and you can, it's typically into two parts. It's gonna be either um, you have the muscle strength, right? So you have the motion, and then you also have the sensation. So you're gonna be testing both in the evaluation. So I go, hey, so I heard you had a stroke, what's going on? And she said like, oh, it just happened out of nowhere. I said, okay, well, let's see, let's see what we got here, all right? Uh, do you see my hands on both sides? Because sometimes when you have a stroke, 
the affected side, you have what's called a neglect and you can't see that side. Like their vision only sees the front and then the side that's not affected. You know, like your peripheral vision. And they stroke patients just sometimes they don't see that whole side. It's really, it's really odd. Um, so I asked, can you see the side where she's affected? And she said, yeah, I can see that. I said, okay, cool. So I, then I go into sensation. I'm like, does this feel the same? And I feel like, let's say the uh, forearm region, right? And she goes, uh, yeah, they feel the same. And then I go to the hand regions, the pinkies, the fingers, and all of that. It's like, all right, they're all intact. She, they said, she says she feels the same, so that's awesome. Then I do some deep pressure, so then I press down. And I said, do you feel that? Do you feel that? Because there's different sensations that, PT, that uh, people have. So uh, there's like deep touch, there's light touch, there's uh, sharp dull, there's like pain, right? So it's different sensations and those different sensations go to different tracks in the brain, which is crazy. So now we're, I'm starting to incorporate a little, a little bit more of my doctor to physical therapy knowledge, right? And then so I said, okay, your sensation's pretty good. You could feel that. I'm impressed. That's nice. All right, now let's move on. Let's check out your coordination and your strength. Can you lift both arms overhead? She's like, I can't move my left side. I said, what do you mean you can't move over your left side? She said, I just doesn't, I just can't move it. And I said, oh, okay. Well, you can feel it, but you can't move it. She's like, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So then I check her strength on her um, uninvolved side and it's great. And then the left side, I said, can you squeeze my hand? Can you lift it at all? Can you do anything? No movement whatsoever. So, wow, okay. So is there anything you can do on this side? She said, I could wiggle my toe. <laughs> and I said, is it the big toe? She said, yeah. I said, have you seen Kill Bill? Just move the big toe. <laughs> wiggle your big toe. Wiggle your big toe. Wiggle your big toe. Wiggle your big toe so she was able to move the big toe i said that's awesome see if the movie says so keep trying for it just keep trying just like, okay okay um so um uh, i event so long story short here's another part we sit her up at the I, I sit her up at the edge of the bed and she's sitting and her uninvolved side is able to put her arm down but her involved side is totally flaccid like her arm is like she can't lift it. So if I move it like this, it's just, it's like a dead arm. It's crazy. So I had to put it in a place where it's like she can use, like she can lock out her elbow or she has a little bit more support to sit up. So, um, yeah, so that that patient was pretty, pretty interesting to see because um, I mean, she's totally independent prior to this incident. It's just weird that she has sensation, but she literally, she literally cannot move it. It's, it's like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It was crazy. Yeah, more autonomy today, and I'm seeing a lot more patients. I think I'm getting a good variety of patients that I'm seeing because at first I didn't because I was like, damn, all, is all, are all the patients that I'm seeing total hips and total knees? Like, I'm going to burn the heck out in this location if that's the case. But it turns out that... Um, uh, one of my CIs was, was actually just easing me into it and the orthos, like total hip, total knees are like the easiest ones. So it's pretty repetitive. Um, I'm trying, I'm in the midst of making some videos for some total hip and total knees, the precautions and what you can do, like uh, activity, like out of bed activity, some Therex, home exercise program, things like that. So if you want that, make sure you put it in that comment below and pressure me to uh, come out with it faster because I have all the ideas in my head. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, not bad, not bad. And it's like the turning of the inpatient related stuff. Um, I'm actually liking it. I'm seeing the benefits. It's great to see the progression of patients from just like totally dependent to becoming independent and saying goodbye. Um, you know, um, thank you for all your help and just helping them go to that place. So uh, I'm really blessed to have being you be using my doctorate of physical therapy uh, expertise it's a ton of money and I'm I'm starting I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to uh, come up with a financial plan of how to pay back these damn loans <laughs> uh, but one of my goals is through these YouTube videos so 
Um, if you're a supporter of me, you know, and if you've been watching my videos and you really liked it, can you please like share this vlog or share some of my videos? Like, if one of you of all my of all the 500 subscribers that I have that have been growing, um, if one of you got, if every one of you guys share one video, um, and then that video helps two people, and then so on and so forth, I think it'll really help the progression of this channel because I I know I know that I bring good value to you guys, and I know that I am listening and I know that there are a lot of people, a lot of physical therapists, pre-physical therapists, fitness, just general health people uh, that can benefit from any of my videos. So, um, you know, I'm just, I know it's there. It just has to catch on fire, you know? But those of you guys who have been watching and have been supporting and have been with me this all this time, I thank you so, 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 so much, okay? And if there's something else if there is like more that you want me to do or you have some requests like let me know because like i'm all about this youtube stuff it's actually pretty damn cool and i love the engagement i love the growth like i just i love it all and it'd be awesome to have a dream of uh, working as a physical therapist a fitness coach and then doing online videos just to um be with you all to educate you all and to just uh, share more of uh some wisdom that i'm learning on in this process and um yeah so i just thank you all and uh, thank you all for your support okay have a great one you guys